Thank you all for coming here today and stay out throughout the day. I am so heartened to see all of you here, still here after this long day. This hearing today has now come to a conclusion, to an end, but there's a continuation tomorrow. Today, Julian's lawyers were presenting the arguments against his extradition, the arguments that they, they do want a chance to present in a full appeal. And it's so amazing that you should have to go through all this to get a chance to have these arguments presented in the appeal court. It should be a given thing, but it's not a given thing. We still have to wait for the decision by these two uh, judges here. Each and all of the arguments presented here today by Julian's lawyers would in itself suffice in a normal country to stop the extradition. There are so many arguments, I'm not gonna be able to repeat all of them, but each and every point should in itself suffice to stop the extradition. The very fact that this is a country whose intelligence agency, CIA, plotted to assassinate Julian should in itself stop an extradition. If it was any other country than the United States, it would suffice. The United Kingdom would not extradite anybody to another country that, were, that had plotted to assassinate the individual, uh, Julian Assange. And they did so and discussed it on the highest actual level of power in the White House. Can you imagine that? How can you send Julian Assange to a country which wanted him dead and openly discussed ways and means to do so? That's outrageous. That should in itself be sufficient. All the other arguments that pile on top of it to strengthen the case the fact that it was a spying done on his legally privileged communication, tainting his possibility to have a fair trial in the United States, should in itself be enough and sufficient. The fact that he's gonna be put under such conditions in prison in the United States, despite any bullshit called assurances, and excuse my friend, it's just simply that, it's BS. Assurance of, of, of what? There is only one agency in the United States can actually define and order the Bureau of Prisons to put Julian Assange into conditions which are so harsh that it could lead to his death. That is the CIA, the very agency that plotted to kill him. And do you think that they will refrain from demanding that he's been put into solitary confinement? I could keep on going about the legal arguments presented here to the two judges today. Such arguments that it would be in any normality in a civilized country absolutely impossible to come to other conclusions that at least allow him, allow him the opportunity to go through the appeal process. I have gone through so many proceedings in courthouses in this country that my hope is not big that Julian will have finally any justice in these halls of judicial power in the United Kingdom. My hope is slim. My hope is with you, that you can persuade the judges to finally listen to the argument. You tell them you are watching, your eyes are upon them. You will be their judges. If they want to be on the right side of history and not go down the drain, they need to listen to you. Please come back here tomorrow for day two. Please come back to continue to apply this pressure on the two judges because they do notice. The press is noticing. The message is getting across. We see growing, growing support for the cause of Julian Assange. And it's because of you who showed up here today. Please come tomorrow and thank you for showing up. Free Julian Assange, free Julian Assange now.